Alright you guys, so now it's time for our full body foam roll massage rollout. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work our lower body first and then we're gonna move up to the upper body. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work our hip flexors, our right hip flexors. So hip flexor, we wanna work right in here, this area right here. So what we wanna do is put the forearm down lateral just like this. And we're gonna go right on that hip flexor. We want our right arm out extended. We want to work that hip flexor. And we want our heel to the sky. So we want all of our weight on that hip flexor. And we got 30 passes. So 30 passes means 30 times we're rolling back and forth over this hip flexor. Good. Now we're gonna switch over to the left hip flexor. So like I said, foam roller laying across like this. We're getting right on our hip flexor, right on the left hip flexor. Left heel to sky, left arm extended. And we're gonna really get into those hip flexors. Now feel free to turn a little bit so you can work those spots. Turn to the outside. Turn back inside. If you need to slow it up because you feel more parts tighter than others, feel free to do that. Good. So now we're gonna go on to our quads. So we got right quad next. 30 passes, nice and easy. And remember, we don't wanna rush this. This is recovery for a reason. We want our body to recover and heal properly. So let's not rush this. Let's put all our time and energy into this so our body can do as well. And we're rolling out from the top of the knee all the way up to that hip flexor. So notice how long these strides are. Top of the hip flexor all the way to the top of the knee. Good. Now we're gonna go over to the left quad. Top of the knee right here all the way up to here. So these two parts right here, that's what we're focusing on. Like I said, 30 passes. If you need more, go ahead and take more. If you need less, go ahead and take less. I recommend at least 30, and then you can work from there. So if you feel a spot that's tighter, so right now I feel right this spot right above my knee tighter, I'm gonna go ahead and focus on that for a little bit. Good, so now I'm gonna go continue on to the whole quad. Now I feel another spot tighter right below my hip flexor. So I'm gonna focus on that. Good, now I'm gonna focus on the whole quad again. And now I'm finished. Next thing we got is we got our IT band. So we're gonna roll out this right IT band. For all you guys don't know what an IT band is, that's right here, right on the side of your leg right here. So we're gonna roll that out from the hip all the way to the top of the knee. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be laying sideways on our right side. We're gonna roll out all the way from the top to the bottom. Now notice how this leg is stacked. 
I've been doing this for a while, so I don't feel no pain, but a lot of you will feel more pressure and a little bit more work with this leg stack. So if that's too much, feel free, put your off leg on the floor and just roll out like this. Either way, we're getting in good recovery. We're getting the same technique. It's good work. So whichever one works for you. So this is a little bit less pressure off your leg, but if you want more of a challenge and more pressure, feel free to stack the leg just like this. Good. Now we're gonna switch over to the left 5T band. So same thing to the left side. I have my leg stacked because I like a little bit more pressure and I've been doing this for a while. So if you're just starting out or your joints are really, really tight and it starts to get painful because it's too much pressure, feel free to put your off leg like this on the floor and roll out just as I'm doing. Remember, we can slow up the tempo so we can really hit some spots and target some areas. And we can continue with the same rhythm. So feel free to slow it up, speed it up, whatever you choose. Listen to your body and your body will tell you what to do. If you feel a knot, you feel a joint, that's painful. Let's go over it nice and slowly, just like this. And really work that area. Good. So now we're gonna work inside of our leg, the groin area. What we're gonna do is put this foam roller like this and we're gonna put our leg up in the frog position. We're gonna go, go ahead and get inside of that leg up into the groin area. Now I love these exercises because not only is it a, a good substitute for massages, but we could really trigger point and get to those areas and increase that blood flow that static stretching doesn't do. Good, so now we're gonna go ahead and switch to the left side. So foam roller down, left leg up in that frog position and we're rolling now right to that knee all the way up to the groin area. And we can really pinpoint areas that we want and really increase that blood flow, flexibility. And during these whole sessions, we're also working our range of motion that's going to significantly increase our performance and keep us healthy so we can keep doing what we love. And that's working hard and training hard every day. Good. So now we're gonna work our calves. So go ahead, put the foam roller right under your calf. You can see, go ahead and stack the leg and get over the calf. Now, if stacking the leg is too much for you, feel free to keep this off leg on the ground and go this way. Good. So now we're gonna get that left calf. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that left calf. As you can see, I have my legs stacked because I love the extra pressure so I can really get in there and dig those muscles and joints out. But if it's too much for you, feel free. Keep this all foot down, roll out this way. Once again, we don't want to rush this process. The recovery process needs to be more of a natural process. So we're going to take our time and we're not rushing through this.
Good. So now we're gonna work that right Achilles. So we're gonna put the foam roller right under our Achilles, lift up. Now we're getting the Achilles. Work the middle. Go ahead and turn your leg out to the right. Work that right side of the Achilles. Go ahead and turn it inside. Work the inside of the Achilles. Go back to the middle. We can slow it down. Really get that extra joint work. Good. Same thing. Left Achilles. Go ahead and start down, going down the middle. Now we're gonna go to the outside. Go ahead and turn that left foot out. Now we're gonna turn the left foot in. Get that inside part of the Achilles. Now we're gonna go back to the middle. You can slow up the tempo. You can go a little faster if you want. You can go slow it up. You feel a spot that really needs extra work. You can stop on it and hold it on there. Really release that stress and tension out of there. Good. So now we're done with the lower body. That completes the lower body part of the foam rolling. Now we're gonna go move on to our lower back. So go ahead, put the foam roller right under your lower back. Go ahead and lean back. Arms across your chest, chest. so you want your right arm to left shoulder, left arm to your right shoulder. And go ahead and get that upper back. And notice how my head is staying up. We don't want to lean back. You can actually damage your back. So we want to keep our body up, keep my posture up. See how my torso and my trunk is still engaged and not over like this. This is what we don't want. What we want is nice control, getting our lower back right there. Now these are a little bit more challenging. So if you have pain with this, if you have pain with these exercises, stop immediately. These should not be painful. They should be relieving, but also we're athletes, we should feel some work getting done. Good. So that was the lower back. Now we're gonna focus on the upper back. So same thing, but now we're gonna place that foam roller right in our upper back. Once again, we have our arms crossed, but now we want our elbows to the sky. And now we're working that upper back. Nice and slow. So we want our elbows to the sky. We want that trunk engaged. Notice how my head is neutral. My head is not leaning back, it's not to the side. My head is nice and stable. And we're rolling out that upper back. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and work our right lat right under here and a lot of people don't roll that out and mess that up and neglect that. So now we're gonna work our right left. So go ahead and lay to your side. Right arm locked out. Put the foam roller right under that lat and go ahead and roll out. Just like this. Now these are gonna be a little bit more intense. So feel free to slow up the tempo. Because these are often missed. So I know it's gonna be really tight for some of you guys. So feel free to slow up the tempo. And let's just relax and get this nice recovery in. You wanna keep this arm straight as possible. Obviously, if more you guys are more muscular, less flexible, you'll see the arm start to come in just as mine is doing. So when you notice that, just push it back and try to keep it there as much as you can. Like I said, the more muscular you are and the more tight you are, the more intense this is gonna be for you. 
So even me, I'm a muscular guy. I'm feeling how intense this is for me right now. So if you're feeling that, you're not alone. <laughs> now we're gonna go over to the left lap. So we're laying on the left side, right under the armpit. And we're getting this left side. Notice how my body, my upper body is up in a good, strong hold position. We don't wanna be down like this, laying down. We don't wanna be like this. No, we want in everything we do, us athletes, we have to do an athletic position. There's a proper way to do things. And this is the proper way to do it. So don't be lazy with your recovery. We gotta be strong. We gotta do it the right way with quality. Good. So now, last part we're doing, we're gonna go ahead and roll out these shoulders. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and place the foam roller directly in front of you. We're gonna go ahead on our knees, right arm behind our back. We're gonna put this right shoulder on the foam roller and we're gonna roll out side to side. Once again, we wanna keep our head down, arm behind our back, and we're getting that shoulder, loosening out those muscles, and releasing all this tension. Good, now we're gonna switch over to the left side. So same thing, foam roller down right in front of us, left arm behind our back. We're going down right onto that left shoulder, and we're rolling out. I'm gonna keep our head down, maintain this position. You may find the foam roller slipping as mine am. Just fix it up and continue your exercise. Good. Now we're gonna work our triceps. So what we're gonna do is foam roller in the same position. Now we're gonna, now we're, same foam roller in the same position. Now we're gonna grab our right hand to our left shoulder. We're gonna be on our tricep and we're rolling out. Go ahead and rest your chin onto that bicep right there. And change up the pressure if you need it. So if put resting your chin, the more you, the more you lean into it, the more pressure that'll happen. So if you want less pressure, feel free to just stay up like this. If you want more pressure, feel free to rest your chin on your bicep and really try to dig in there and release those ten tension in the muscles. Good. Now we're gonna switch over to the left tricep. So left arm, right shoulder, go ahead and cross, right onto the foam roller like this. Go ahead and rest your chin. If you want more tension, if not, go ahead and stay up. Now we're rolling that tricep. And all these exercises are great for before and after workouts. So that's what I love about recovery. A lot of these drills I'll do before my workouts, such as a tiger stick and foam rolling, just to loosen up my muscles before the warm up. Because part of being a pro and training like a pro is being a pro in all aspects, which is recovery, workout training, nutrition, the way we take care of our body and all that. So if you have practice or a weight training session or you have an activity starting, go out there, try to get out there to the field about 30 to 40 minutes early, wherever you're at. And feel free to do these exercises. It's a great way to warm up. And it's a great way to make sure your body is prepped to do what you need to do. And that's dominate the workout. There you guys have it. That's our foam rolling series. Thank you guys. Continue to dominate and follow these instructions. And trust me, your body will benefit from this.